Leave us. Some of you may not like what I'm teaching you, but the making of a witness is not on the dining table with tea and bread. The fullness of affliction is how witnesses are made. I repeat, the fullness of affliction. There are prayers you can never pray away. You only pray for grace to pass through. It is a baptism you must drink of, and it is a cup that you must drink of and be baptized with that baptism. Apostle, I want power. There is only a limit impartation can do. You must dig your own well. There are times when people are sleeping, you are awake, and God is saying, the anointing I'm giving you is not for a local assembly. I'm sending you to the nations. You study your Bible, you finish it, God says, start again, and you say, God, you are not fair. I've finished my Bible five times, I've not preached one sermon. That preaching that is itching you, you will preach and be tired. And thank God for the residue of what you have now. He says, eat for the journey is far. There was a time in my life I would not spend up to two weeks, except during election. I didn't spend up to two weeks at home because of demand, traveling, traveling. Don't rush seasons in your life. You will miss the season you are trying to rush out of right now. Medebaratusia, the opening of the eyes. Zina skabadi kataliata. Krantes kade badida ka. Do not mistake in God's silence. God's silence is a strategy. That every time they say no one rises in this family, let's go back and serve idols. And he seemed to keep quiet. And you are saying, God, move now. Uh -uh. That's not how he walks. He keeps quiet. Because in his realm, time does not matter. In one day, he can do anything. Your entire lifetime is less than a day. So when you say, God, hurry up. He said, I don't understand that language. Hurry means what? Eternity minus five years does not mean anything to him. So he keeps quiet. Listen carefully. When it's time for him to arise, when he prepares a witness he will give that witness something in the court of law that is called a token of truthfulness the name is evidence when you see god silent it is because he's preparing his evidence a witness is useless in the court of law if you do not come with evidence your evidence is a token of truthfulness the Bible says the end of all strife is when you bring a token of truthfulness. Hmm. One who provides a testimonial evidence of what he or she claims to know. Sit down and write this please. What is an evidence? An evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion. An evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion an evidence is anything presented in support or defense of an assertion an evidence is a means of establishing the validity of a fact please write it down an evidence is a means of establishing the validity of a fact hebrews chapter 6 and verse 16. hebrews 6 and verse 16. for verily men swear by the greater and an oath of confirmation is to them an end of all strife this is another name for evidence it's called an oath of confirmation you stole my money do you have a witness yes go and bring the witness whoever come were you there yes did you see it yes what is your evidence that's the next question woe betides a witness who does not have an evidence it takes time as security people it takes time to build an evidence so all the journey all your experiences good and bad all the painful things
the things that the Bible says we know that all things work together. It is a journey of building the evidence to your witness. All the times of pain, the times of prayer in the night that looks like God is not answering you. God, why are you silent? He said, you don't know the case you are sent to defend. That's why you don't know the kind of witness I have to build. Two years may not build that kind of case. You are supposed to present God to a family that has believed in idols for 150 years. Oh Moses, a rod will not be enough. Pharaoh is a wizard. A rod will not convince Pharaoh enough. You will need a rod. You will need signs and wonders. You will need miracles of nature. You will even need his firstborn. Let's sit down. hear me God is calling you into ministry and after 10 years you are saying Lord release me he says stay just keep praying God what is it about my own ministry my colleagues have gone ahead stay don't go anywhere let me tell you he's building evidence there is a level of power and grace that will come upon your life when he shoots you like an arrow in one day you will do what has not been done in one year hold on not everything in your life that looks negative is negative is the building of the evidence hold on do you know sometimes Ask the people who work with CIA and intelligence for them to build evidence sometimes they will have to subject themselves to be part of the problem in disguise is that true could that be why you came from the family you came from could that be why when things were working for others it didn't work for you God had to how else will they believe God lives if you did not pass through such a thing so he started follow the prophetic drama your life has been acting that you are not seeing scene one both parents go to be with the lord from your birth and you are wondering lord why is my life like this and heaven the script writer my goodness the script writer is writing and just when a car would have hit you when you said jesus is left and you thought, no, 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 it's part of the whole thing. A day will come when you stand and say, Jesus is Lord. If anyone dares to say, prove it. You're going to ask them, I hope you have time. Because I have an overwhelming evidence. So choose which one you want to see. Is it the fact that he lifted me from the married clay? Is it from the fact that he blessed me in the midst of my enemies? Is it from the fact that he waited for every negative prophecy to finish? Then he started changing it one by one in the presence of everyone. Is it that he took me to a foreign land and blessed me there? Which of the evidences do you need that he's alive? And heaven stands to say, my goodness, my God, what a witness. What a witness indeed. What a witness indeed. Mm. As a man of God, hear me. Do not interpret things from a carnal standpoint. It takes time to build evidence. The stronger the evidence, the more effective the witness. So Jesus said the ultimate evidence that I am from God destroy this temple after three days since death is the last enemy that can be destroyed in your realm if i say i am lord you will not believe it whoever owns the earth must be able to exit out of the earth and return himself back so take my life if i come back then we'll see and they said with all pleasure we even release an arm robber for your sake we've been planning to kill you now that you've offered yourself with jesus joy when he hung upon that cross he didn't hang for five minutes he hung long enough for history to capture his stay there when they were driving him to Golgotha 
it was painfully slow are you seeing why you read the bible and sometimes it annoys you just summarize it from pontius pilate he died no it's not witness enough it's not evidence enough so he begins to give the details they slapped him and he was quiet and he said i can call ten thousand angels yet i keep quiet and then when he hung upon the cross he said eloi eloi lamak sabachthani take notes that the father turned his back the 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 new birth theology they did not come from the evidence the entire exegesis of the new creation was derived from the witness paul studied all the evidences and that's where he built the case for the new believer i have been crucified with christ he said that happened only because there was an evidence of the cross today the sign of the christian faith is that cross nobody can deny that he hung on a cross when he died watch this when he resurrected he was not in a rush to come out he insisted until there was one person to see him and when mary saw him she said rabboni he said don't touch me i'm just happy you have seen it now run quickly before you forget run and go and tell the people that you've seen me i'm alive hmm. god is not done with all the arsenals of his evidence there is the last one coming one glorious morning believers and non-believers alike whether you believe in him or not there will be a shout of a trumpet that one does not need speaker we don't need to buy line arrays from heaven when you hear that your banking your schooling your preaching oh may it happen during koinonia i drop the mic for you and i say save johnny we've been saying repent if you are not interested That will be the ultimate evidence. No event in human history would have ever happened like that. A massive disappearance of people. Suddenly, the king of kings will say, no confusion. You didn't believe in me. Now you watch me. In a moment, a twinkling of an eye. It's only you who will see it all. All those who are not born again will not even know anything has happened. They will just know that the earth has divided almost into two. Where are the other people? This will become a bestseller after the rapture because this will be the only valid compass that helps people back. No other book will matter. What else is there? And people will have to come and check. We'll leave all these Bibles for them. They will read it. But that is the ultimate witness. But for now, there are brothers, there are sisters, there are husbands, there are wives, there are nations, that there are territories that have vehemently refused that Jesus is Lord. Some call him a prophet. Some call him a wise man. Some call him an intelligent character that passed through history some call him a founder of one of the four thousand religions we have he says who do men say that i am and peter said no to describe you i need the holy spirit to help me i can't do this on my own thou art christ there is a world that is waiting for the demonstration the validation of every claim of jesus he's broken that project into several assignments what you call purpose what you call your assignment is a portion of your contribution to that universal project the name thy kingdom come there is a world listen to me very carefully that is still in doubt don't you say because there are churches full of people everybody knows god on earth out of over 7.8 or so billion people only about 2.5 2.6 billion people are professing christians including backsliders including those who may not pseudo christian activities 
that's not a good statistic and the father is saying where are they in Nigeria there are all kinds of things plaguing and troubling the name of the Lord in this country and God is saying I have men I have children but I need witnesses and there are many people who have said Lord I'm available and he said being available is not enough if you are going to stand before Pharaoh to advocate an exodus you need more than an instruction you need an evidence Pharaoh is a wizard he does not let people go just like that and when the heat starts coming he can say okay you women go but leave your men and leave your children or he will say leave your children and like the nation of Israel was saying everybody is going but you will need an evidence the entire journey watch this the entire journey of Moses visiting and revisiting Egypt was to one end to convince Pharaoh that he met the God of the Bible the owner of the people he was oppressing and he said thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews let my people go and Pharaoh said okay I've heard you so if you met him what did he give you as a token of truthfulness and he said well for starters he gave me a rod and when he threw it down while it became a serpent Pharaoh looked at him and said shame on you and the God who sent you if this is what he gave you to come and make me release 2.5 people go back and tell him that 2.5 million people would not live on so small a witness could it be that some of us are already witnesses but the nature of the evidence that we are presenting the court will not allow our families go the, the level of power that you have the level of grace that you operate in is too small for the kind of result that your assignment requires therefore Paul gives us a formula that grace and peace can be multiplied so that you stand to a point where you have sufficient evidence Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 it says how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth brothers and sisters with the Holy Ghost look at the extent the assignment of Jesus required overwhelming witness as soon as he showed up he didn't have time to go to a radio station to say I'm here evidence is all around your mother-in-law is sick madam stand up the kingdom has come to you he gathered people and he said I want to teach you on this kingdom that I have brought and they listened they listened till they were hungry and some of them started going wicked man you wasted our time three days talking nonsense he said call them back I want to feed them and the disciples said don't don't aggravate these people they will kill us here and a young lad came with five loaves and two fish he blessed it and he says you the servers alongside the audience learn the power of this kingdom that we boast of go and serve and as they went the bread began to multiply ah it's not what you have is what is on what you have what is on what you have if five loaf and two fish can feed five thousand then it is not the loaf and the fish is what came on it that's what you must pray for to come on what is in your account that's what you must pray for to come on what is on your mind sometimes it's not more things it's more grace on what you have is God helping us tonight my dear sister God has been on a journey with you for decades and you are wondering Lord what is the name of what you are doing with me I'm giving you the name tonight he's building the case for the evidence that will make you a faithful witness apostle uh, the only thing I know is that I had a dream years ago and in that dream God said I'm going to become a great prophet to the nations and that's all he would just make me to pray for three days just when I want to eat he will say pray for and fast for three more days what is he doing with me my whole family members called me the black sheep remember a case has been built the day he sends you the rod that was used there 
will now become the rod of power the day that he sends you that scar will now become an instrument of power i know what i'm saying run away from witnesses with no scars they don't have an evidence paul said let no man trouble me you want to use in, be used by God in this end time? It's not without scars. A testament of your waiting. A testament of your staying. Apostle, I believe that God has called me. But for five years, we've not crossed 20 people in that church. I love God. I'm doing all I know to do. Be careful what you call small and be careful what you call delay. The 20 people you are leading are not your members. They are your leaders you have been training for that long. Members have not started coming. Members come when leaders are trained. So the 20 people you have been laughing at and saying, let members come. Let rich people come to my church. Shame on your anointing. If you have to wait for blessed people to come. When you make blessed people by that grace, it proves you are called. Go around disturbing blessed people as though they are the ones who call you. Listen, the training process of a witness is a hard training. Some of you, I'm describing it to you because you are currently in the cave of Adulam right now. You are saying, Lord, what is wrong with my life? I'm a beautiful woman but nobody is coming to marry me I'm a wonderful woman I, I, I've done all I know to do and yet I'm not able to have a child I, I graduated and 10 years 12 years nobody has come to give me a job be patient there is an evidence that is being built don't corrupt the power of the testimony that is waiting for you through impatience <sighs> hear me Behind every glory, there is a story. The story is what makes the glory desirable. If the Bible just said Jesus came, he walked, he died, he resurrected. Even me, I will not give my life to him. I won't give my life to that kind of story. But then when I see his passion, he went through this for me. There must be something special about me that's how those you are called to serve will thank you when they hear what you had to go through to be a savior they say you had to go through this to be a prophet is this the price of being an apostle is this the price of being the kingdom millionaire now they will not just clap for you because you're a billionaire they will clap for you because you're a testament of endurance you went through this so that my children will eat you went through this so that nations will be built I once prayed for a politician who was so frustrated and he told me, he said, Apostle, every time I want to stop, I have spent money, I campaign, I do my best, but then things don't seem to work out. Sometimes, even when I know that, you know, everything turned in my favor, I'm tired of all this. I've been offered all kinds of options, but I've made up my mind to stand for Christ. And I told him, I said, do you think God is wasting your time. Hmm. Joseph, what would your story be if you were not in the prison? Would we really believe that God delivers? The prison is where both good and bad people meet. <laughs> be careful who you point in the prison because the prison is the meeting place for both good and bad people. Joseph is in the prison. The wine pressers are in the prison. Jesus is on the cross. The thieves are on the cross. There is a place where both good and bad meet. That's why when you don't understand what is happening with the lives of people, keep quiet and pray. Because they may be in the prison there to help those who are in the prison. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Why are bad things happening to this person? 
his brother just died his sister just died he's broke he's a failure shame on him you are an embarrassment to redemption children in the faith can talk that but those who have truly passed through the school of the spirit understand they can just pray and say look relative to your service the result you are getting is not matching god is doing something just be patient there are times that you see the actor in a movie beating you even think he's dead just when you are about to sympathize with him you see his hands moving and it gives you a ray of hope but in the end of it you will see victory